Okay, this sound, uh, is used to indicate the masculine of many professions and of a lot of nationalities, as in Américain. You're going to see some examples on the left of masculine nationalities and professions contrasted with feminine nationalities and professions. As you go through listening, and you might want to practice also, see if you can pick out what the difference in pronunciation is between the masculine and the feminine. Américain, Américaine, Canadien, Canadienne, Italien, Italienne, Européen, Européenne, Pharmacien, Pharmacienne, Lycéen, Lycéenne. Did you notice that all the words on the left, the masculine ones, the ending was always pronounced un. And the feminine ones, the ones on the right, was always n. Now take a look at the list of words that you've just practiced and see if you can figure out how the spelling will indicate to you whether you need un or n in the pronunciation. Did you notice that the feminine ones all have an E afterwards, and the masculine ones have no vowel afterwards. That vowel E really is there to say that you pronounce that N. Okay, you've seen an awful lot of spellings for the sound N. Guess what? You're not through. The sound N can also be spelled UN, as in brun. The feminine is brune. There's that E indicating that you pronounce the N, only this time we have une for the feminine. Aha! Un, une. You know that, okay? Meaning a, the article, or one. Now, that difference between un and une for the article can change a word entirely. For example, un livre, a book, une livre, a pound, the measure, the weight. Okay. When you have liaison, that is when the next word after the un starts with a vowel, you're going to pronounce the n as if it started the next word. And that's going to mean, since the n is pronounced both in the masculine and the feminine, that it, it's going to be very important how you pronounce the vowel. So, for example, the masculine, un ami, a male friend, une amie, a female friend. So the only thing that tells you whether you're talking about a man or a woman, a male friend or a woman friend, is the un sound of the masculine, the u sound of the feminine, since the n is pronounced in both of them. I'm going to say these very slowly, and I'd like you to try practicing after me. We'll do it slowly, and then pick up the pace and do it faster on these, the word anami, unami. Anami, unami. And faster, anami, unami. Let's go back over the examples that you've just practiced and add to them. So now it's up to you again. Really exaggerate that difference between un and une, or un and u when there's liaison. Un, une. Un poste, une poste. Un livre, une livre. Un ami, une amie. Un enfant, une enfant. Okay, this sound un is 
spelled sometimes I-N, and indicates the masculine, as in words like cousin. The feminine is cousine, I-N-E. And so we have masculine, cousin, feminine, cousine. The in difference uh, contrast can make a difference in meaning between words, as in un magasin, a store, un magazine, a magazine. It can also be used for a word and words derived from it, where we can make the contrast the word un and the word derived from it in. Le jardin, le jardinage, the garden, and gardening. Now let's go back over these words and adding some more where you practice the difference between un and in. Cousin, cousine. Latin, Latine, fin, fine, magasin, magazine, matin, matinée, jardin, jardinage. Okay, in the words we've just seen, you have un and in. The first words, uh, the in was indicated by in and then an e afterwards. The last two, though, you had the sound in, which was represented by in, but there was a different vowel afterwards, as in matinée with an e accent aigu, and jardinage with an a. So let's see what's going on here by looking at another set of words where the sounds un and in are not at the end of the word. Take a look at the spelling of the I-N and then the letter that comes immediately after that and see if you can make a generalization of how do you know whether you're pronouncing un or in, as in intolérant and inactif. The words on the left all have the letters I-N or I-M and a consonant afterwards. So when there's the consonant afterwards, you're pronouncing I-N or I-M, un. The words on the right, the I-N or the I-M is followed by a vowel or by the letter H, which in French is never pronounced. So in effect, it's like having a vowel right afterwards. So I-N or I-M with a vowel sound afterwards is pronounced in. And we'll see that something very much like this happens for other vowel sounds, too. Intolérant, injuste, insensible, impur, inactif, inutile, Imagine, inhabituel. En is frequently the indicator of masculine on nouns and adjectives. An used to represent the feminine, as in musulman, masculine, musulmane, feminine. En, an. Sometimes those are the only differences between words where meaning is changed if you substitute one for the other. So l'an, meaning the year, as compared to l'an, the donkey. That's quite a difference in meaning, so you want to keep them apart. L'an, l'an. En is found in a word and an is found in words derived it, from it in many cases. So, l'an, l'anniversaire. Let's go back over these words and add some more to it so that you have a chance to practice the difference between en in the words on the left and an in the words on the right. 
musulman, musulmane, gitan, gitane, lan, l'âne, l'an, l'anniversaire. Another nasal value you practice is on, and the on can be used to indicate the masculine of a word. For example, bon. The feminine is bonne. On, on, used to distinguish between masculine and feminine. Bon, bonne. We can also use, or I ra should say rather, that that contrast, on, on, can make the difference in meaning between two words. For example, ils sont, they are, ils sonnent. He rings. The spelling is quite different, but in fact, it's only that difference in the vowel, on, on, that changes the meaning between the two. You also have cases where on is used in a word and on is used in a word derived from it. Fonction, fonctionnaire. I will go back over those words, add some more to it and you listen and then try for yourself with this contrast of on, on. Bon, bonne. Mignon, mignonne. Patron, patronne. Ils sont, ils sonnent. Fonction, fonctionnaire. Bon, bonheur. 